All right, you are recording as of now. That was a shitty clap. Do it again. There you go. I got the clap good on that one. talk about our LOC, which is our level of consciousness. So LOC, level of consciousness. To figure out our level of consciousness, we use an acronym called AVPU. That's going to be A, V, P, U. That's going to stand for alert and oriented, verbal, pain, and unresponsive. We'll cover that in a second. We're going to start with our A, alert and oriented. For alert and oriented, we're going to have four questions, four questions that we ask. Those four questions are going to be our name or person, place, time and event. Why do we ask these four questions? Because our brains are like ogres and ogres are like onions. What's that mean? It means our brains have layers. So in these layers, we have our short-term memory and our long-term memory. In our long-term memory, we have our name. We've known our name for as long as we can remember. And then our place, usually we've been out of place for an extended period of time, for a day, two days, for an extended period of time. Time is always changing. And then the event, leading up to, events leading up to, or the event that happened to us just occurred. So when we ask these four questions to determine alert and oriented, we're looking to determine the short-term versus long-term memory. If you just came up and hit me in the head with a baseball bat, all of a sudden that event that happened, I can't remember it. That's my short-term memory. There goes the event. Depends on how hard you hit me, I'm also going to lose the time of what time it is. Is it night? Is it day? Is it 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock? It just kind of disappears. And then if you hit me even harder, I'll lose the place. I won't remember that I'm at Lane Community College. And if you hit me hard enough, I won't even remember my name. So. The reason that we ask these questions is because of our short-term versus long-term memory. And we're going to describe those as A and O, alert and oriented, times one, two, three, or four. All right, if our patient is not alert and oriented, we're gonna move to our V. Our V is gonna stand for verbal. So this is our patient where their eyes are closed, they're sitting, they're laying, whatever it is, they're not responsive when we walk up and we give them that verbal stimulus. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Hey. They open their eyes and they can look at us. Maybe they can talk to us. They're not really there, but we get that verbal response from them. When we give that verbal cue, they respond. If they don't respond to our verbal stimulus, we're gonna to go to our painful response with a sternum rub, something to provide that painful response, and they will be painfully responsive. If they don't respond for painfully responsive, they are going to be unresponsive. That's gonna be our 
level of consciousness with our AVPU scale, alert and oriented times one, two, three, four, verbally responsive, painfully responsive, or unresponsive. 